Well, good morning, everybody. It's time to start another day. So, yeah, another segment of the BTS vlog. Let me give you a time and date stamp. It is 10 hours and 15 minutes into the day of Saturday, May 31st, 2014. That's right. Uh, yesterday I gone food shopping. I'm working. Uh, I'm still adjusting the summer menu. I'm into the summer menu, but I'm still adjusting the summer menu. I want to make it better. There's still things I want to sort of fix up with it. But so far, I'm pretty much satisfied with what I have. It's going to be a, uh, again, I said you arrange your diets depending on a variety of factors. And one of the factors I'm looking at is the weather, the heat. Um, so I want, uh, so there, there, there are diets that allow you to, uh, and again, this is a discussion on carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are a complex thing because carbohydrates involve a variety of things. Um, like fats and oils. Fats and oils are, are kind of misleading because there's two different types of fat. There's the one general classification of fat which includes fats and oils. Right. So in terms of organic chemistry, uh, a fat is both a... Uh, fat, the solid fat, and um, the oil. These are, fun the fats and oils are fundamentally um, uh, triglycerides, they're triesters, and as such, one is either liquid or one is either solid. You know, one is solid and one is liquid. The fat we typically call fat, and the one that is liquid we call oil, but both chemically are known as fats, and so uh, and ironically enough, because <laughs> they are they are, they are uh, you know hydrocarbon based are carbohydrates. Anything that's car car anything that's really car uh, anything that is um, uh, hydrocarbon based is a carbohydrate. Although the the term is used primarily for um, uh, what well, most people think are we call sugar bases, but that's not, again that's not. Uh, chemically, in terms of organic chemistry, that's not entirely the case. Because it, chemically speaking, anything that anything that uh, in the human body, including bone, because it's all hydrocarbon based, it's a carbohydrate. There are just different various types of carbohydrates, and the most common view of carbohydrates is a sugar form of carbohydrate, and that's either the starches or uh, the uh, the mono and disaccharides that we we'll call the simple sugars, uh, and again the simple sugars and the in the starches all have different properties. They're different. They have different chemical properties, and it's the same thing with fats and oils. Fats and oils have different chemical properties, and the thing is, is that you cannot blanket one property towards everything. You can well, this is the property of carbohydrates. Well, no, there there's a lot more. Uh, specifics that need to go on and understanding, you know, how carbohydrates work within the body uh, before you sit down and say, okay, well, how am I going to adjust my diet? Because basically, adjusting your diet means adjusting your carbohydrate intake. You're looking at the amount of energy that you're going to produce. And particularly, what you want to do is uh, to keep your body cooler. What you want to do initially, in, in well, and this is your, your your primary goal, is increase the amount of fluid that your body has. In other words, you want to increase your um, your water, your hydration. You want to increase that. You also want to, you know, if there's other fluids you want to have. In other words, you want to have foods that will cool your body down. And again, there are a variety of techniques of doing this. There's a variety of different uh, methods of of cooling your body. Uh, and so this is what goes into making either a summer menu or a winter menu, and those are the primary menus, summer and winter. There is an in-between, preparing for summer, preparing for winter, that's the spring and fall menus, but they're not as uh, specific uh, in terms of their uh, organic chemistry as the summer and winter. The summer and winter are primarily your base organic chemistry uh, things, and then what happens your spring and winter are adjustments of the either the summer, which is the, the adjustment of the summer would be, would be uh, going into fall. Adjustment of the winter would be going into uh, summer. So that would be, uh, that would be spring. You know, and so and this is sort of what I'm working on now. I'm working on these adjustments uh, to the summer menu, making sure that uh, they're at their optimum, get, get the base work done, and then start working in 
properties, other properties that I want from there on in. In addition to, in addition to, well, you know, for my, for my, for what I need, for what I want, is that I want a good amount of flavor. I want uh, the quality to be, you know, pretty much up there. So uh, <laughs> uh, that goes without saying. And the second thing is, is, is that again, as like I said before, I'm a freegan. So that means I'm looking to reduce costs. You know, I'm looking to sort of, you know, can I reduce my food costs? Can I reduce the amount, the, what it costs me to, to cook something? I mean, and this includes the cost of equipment in the kitchen. So, and that's all sort of being done. It's being adjusted. Everything's sort of being fixed up. Uh, and it's working pretty well. And that's why I went, on, I went shopping yesterday. Shop, yesterday shopping was the first shopping day that I had inside the summer menu. It uh, this adjustment, including the price adjustments, the uh, in terms of what I wanted for price, worked out pretty well. I brought my um, my weekly spending in terms of the stuff I need to get for the weekly week, the weekly staples. Uh, I brought it down to about fourteen dollars. Uh, the uh, total, which was twenty five dollars, uh, included what we call long term uh, needs. And this includes vinegar, stuff like that. These and these will last, you know, I buy these once every two months, something like that, uh, depending on the actual need, you know, the, the whole, uh, you know, <laughs> the whole process, you know, how, how long does it take me to finish this product before I have to buy it again? And usually it's a couple months, so. Yeah, there's weekly products you need to buy, then there's then there is uh, monthly, you know, monthly or bi-monthly products you need to buy, and this is sort of what sort of how you balance out your bill. Um, otherwise, uh, I am working the uh, shooting schedule for all the different shows into my schedule. Things are coming more coming along. I'm getting more work done. Hopefully, I'm going to get more work done today. Things are improving. Things are fixed, uh, you know, getting fixed up. I'm readjusting how I do things, and uh, you should notice this uh, by the time you see this video. A lot of the changes should already be in place. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. I will come back later on today and try to do, you know, an afternoon vlog or you know, midday vlog. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm trying to sort of fix these schedules up more, but. Uh, We'll see how everything goes. Anyways, I will see you later. Be prepared to have what you know challenged by Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Why don't we get things back together again? And sort of push forward and uh, <laughs> get back into our routine. Let me give you the time and date stamp. It is 20 hours and 29 minutes into the day of Saturday, May 31st, 2014. And our interrupted thought was <clears throat> sometimes things don't really change that much, and so while well, well, they do indeed change. <laughs> change does not always bring change. I have a uh, bizarre contradiction in my life. That as much as things change, in many ways they stay the same. Particularly when you're talking about feelings and so on and so forth. And this is why I often talk about being in between. My emotions as to how things go during the day uh, are much like I felt uh, when I was a tween. Between the ages of, uh, you know, nine and um, and fourteen, there is, you know, there's always sort of that excitement of the unknown going into the unknown. And even when you do have success, there is sort of the uh, bewilderment that I have anyways that you never quite fully understand that you never quite fully understand where you are uh, in life. There's the feeling of being lost or in many ways misplaced. 
And so it's been a pretty good day today. I've been able to sort of rearrange my, my the way I do things, the, the methods at which I, I, I get things done, and they are more effective than they were they, than they were before. But at the same time, while the SAR menu is improving, improving while the the uh, method of managing the TV channel is improving. Uh, I still feel, well, today anyway, I felt very pensive, and I felt like all day long, it's been like 4 o'clock in the morning conti continuously. This has sort of been the fog during the day, the fog of my mind. And, uh, uh, this is certainly the case now, but I decided to vlog anyways, and as I said, do what I said. Do what I said earlier, earlier this morning, keep the vlog short. And, you know, I think that's kind of the uh, way I'm, I'm going to do things is, is just sort of, you know, uh, keep things short. Keep the vlogs, the segments between the, uh, between the, uh, our discussions short. Not go for eight minutes. I mean, yo, I do have the, uh, the long, the, not, well, <clears throat> let me backtrack on my thinking here for a bit. Now that the Insta vlogs are coming online, I can afford to be more laid back here, and I don't need to be as um, in depth here as I what as I am uh, on the Insta vlogs because it's again it's different focus, different um, perspective in some ways. These are the ad hoc notes, so they can be short, they can be all over the place, not organized. And on the Insta vlogs, we're going into we're going from the ad hoc notes into more organized notes. So uh, that's kind of how. <laughs> Sorry about that. Fatigue is definitely here. Um, that's how I'm going to go into things right now. Things seem to be moving in that direction. We'll see how things end up tomorrow. So. <laughs> uh, Anyways, I will see you in the next segment, uh, probably in a couple hours. I'm going to go rest for a little bit. Uh, I'm sort of in a lull between work, between different things I've got to do. So before I start the next set of uh, sub-projects, I'm going to take a little bit of time down. And, I don't know, think about things. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'll talk to you later. Prepared to have what you know. Challenged by Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Well, I'm heading out again to TNT. And that's because I made further adjustments to my summer menu. And more ingredients are required. So, uh, head out again. And let's see if we can try to get what we need and improve the summer menu. <laughs> so that's where we're going now. Very nice day out today. Nice day, nice weather. So, uh, we'll see how long it takes to do this. Uh, shouldn't be too long. So, anyways, I'll see you in a bit. As I said before, it's difficult sometimes when the camera turns on to remember. Uh, oh what you were going to say, so in many cases you end with a dull silence because uh, everything you thought you were going to say is now gone. So the camera's back on again, across the streets, so and I've been thinking of new things and you know, it, you always see if, if I have a different lifestyle than most people and I was thinking about some of these different lists that have uh, healthy living and exercise and so on and so forth healthy eating healthy food and the thing is is that if something is separate from your life in other words they're isolated and not part of the daily routine then the chances of you keeping that up are rather rare and this is why most people they'll, they'll do things for a bit 
Uh, and then after a while, they'll quit and, you know, the closet fills with stuff and from adventure to adventure, you know. You look into, look into your closet, you, you have a storage closet. And most people do have storage closets or even to a certain degree, storage rooms, whole rooms filled with stuff that they got, they swore they were going to use. And within a few months, well, well, that's life. <laughs> you moved on to something new and supposedly better. But here, for myself, if I need to get something, you know, I was working on the menu for the kitchen diner, and things are coming along pretty well. If I need something extra, well, it's part of my regular routine. I have to walk to go get it. It doesn't matter the distance. And this is sort of the same thing when you have bad weather, whether it's cold or rainy out. You have to, uh, you know, go outside, walk to get your stuff. And that means, uh, well, in the winter, I have my winter clothes. In the, in the summer, I have my summer clothes. But in the rain, I now have rain gear, too. Uh, all that got from a from uh, you know these dollar stores I mean I got these sandals these are the sandals that I have these were three four dollars sandals <laughs> so you know what you can't complain the socks I got for free uh, I have a clothing warehouse right around the corner for me I got the socks for free so you know that's kind of how you know if you're living a freaking lifestyle you want to live a freaking lifestyle if you want to uh, have a consistency in your life in terms of being healthy, then it needs to be part of your lifestyle. It needs to be something you, you, you work into your routine. And this is sort of the same thing with the TV station. The struggles here is to sort of make this TV station part of my life, to integrate it into everything. And that's kind of a struggle because I mean, you have a lot of stuff to integrate and you're trying to always do something new. The challenge is always to integrate. How do you integrate something new that's coming into your life on a regular basis? Particularly when it changes, so. Anyways, there's a few thoughts as they're coming along. Look at the nice little flowers there. And so now, on to shopping, and I'll probably see you for, you know, some late midday update, something like that. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, depends on how the day goes and what happens. You know, sometimes nothing happens. Sometimes, you know, good things happen. In either case, uh, uh, that's going to determine what when I come back to tell you uh, what's up and to say hi. All right, see you then. Well, I've done my shopping, so I'm on my way back. Uh, why I felt the need to inform you of this uh, is beyond me. But anyways, that's part of vlogging. <laughs> you know, letting you know what I'm doing at any moment. Oh, by the way, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> do I really need to announce that? Do I have to come on and vlog or Twitter when I'm going to the bathroom? <laughs> anyway, they got what I wanted and they actually got a little bit more than I, than I expected to get. Well, that's what I usually do. Uh, uh, there's a bag in one of the, and this is what I talked about before, if you wait for a bit, clearance sales become even more of a clearance. So in, when, when, when uh, places get items in and they initially put them on sale, there's a period of time afterwards where if enough items don't sell, they'll remove them from the shelf and then at a later time, they'll put them back on as a clearance, a second clearance with an even further discount. And so what I did is I got a new bag that goes inside this bag here that allows me to put a cooler in there. In other words, I have a, I'll have a refrigerated section of the bag, so any product that needs refrigeration, I'll have a good refrigerator, you know, a good bag, a refrigerated bag uh, to keep the uh, items in. So that's kind of what I got, the extra bit. And the rest is just sort of uh, more fruit. Uh, I didn't realize how fast I'd go through the fruit that I got, uh, but now that I do, I realize that uh, I need to buy twice as much as I normally buy. As I said, 
I'm increasing the amount of fruit I have in the summer, cutting back on one of the meals, and uh, sort of breaking stuff up so that uh, I'm not having uh, as much to eat all at once. So, huh. that's kind of the, uh, how things have to go sometimes. You, you know, not that they have to go. I, find, I found that uh, if you eat a lot sometimes, you get uncomfortable afterwards and you don't enjoy the food as much if you're feeling uncomfortable afterwards. And because they eat good all the time, there's no need to sort of, you know, sit there and gorge yourself. It's because it's not my last meal. A lot of people, when they gorge themselves, they go, man, they eat, they, they eat and stuff themselves. They're doing that because they feel that this is the last time they're going to have something good. So they might as well have some, you know, get as much as they can. But if this is standard or normal for you to have something good, good to eat on a regular basis, then uh, gorging yourself, stuffing yourself is no longer necessary because, you know, uh, you're going to eat just as much and have just as good quality food uh, at any particular point in time. You know, it's just that you enjoy, so you go out to somebody else's house to eat who's a good chef, you know, you enjoy the home cooked meal. You enjoy the differences in the taste. You know, you enjoy the artistry. Anyways, I'm coming to a street that I have to cross now. So I'll probably see you back uh, at my office at the uh, Korean for, for a later on vlog, an update vlog. All right, take it easy. Be prepared to have what you know. Challenged by Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Well, as I promised, but I'll start vlogging more, getting, doing a better job at this. So this is supposedly an end of the, end of the day video, oh, end of the day. This is supposedly an end of the end of the day vlog, so let me give you the time and date stamp. It is 23 hours and 31 minutes into the day of Sunday, June 1st, 2014. Yes, the time and date stamp is always important because, well, it wouldn't be a scientific vlog without without it. We need your start date, right? So, uh, what I get done today? I am now uh, starting to clear the backlog on the editing desk, so more content is now starting to go out. I have started using my Cyborg Alpha Mu to handle some of the work, the uh, needed work for uh, uh, the Cyborg Alpha TV network. But I am managing. The uh, the I'm managing the uh, what do you call it? the <laughs> I'm managing the management of Cyborg Alpha TV better with uh, Cyborg Alpha. Mu. In other words, I can I can offload work onto Cyborg Alpha Mu uh, that is better done there than it is on the main desktop. Actually, there is believe it or not the the uh, the Android and the Google app and the Google Plus app does actually um, handle some functions better. So it's better to offload some of the functions onto there, particularly ones that can be handled better there than it is to do it on the desktop. So th that leaves the desktop more free for other things. Uh, uh, if you're sort of watching this, you'll start noticing a different format for our formats of kind of change. Uh, but that could be because uh, we're now, you know, day by day, we're slowly starting to move more and more into the uh, uh, TV network mode. Where in other words, we're starting to operate more as a TV channel. And as we do that, that's sort of going to sort of, you know, cause things to change. So uh, what's going on now is that uh, uh, this, this, Android, this is what happens sometimes when you buy things that are refurbished. Uh, they don't always come with all the features you need, but there's always a workaround. So, like this, this Android was about 80 bucks, but it was good. It's, it's, a, it's a good Android, it's an Acer, but it's only got a three hour battery life. So, 
I was looking around. And I saw these uh, power these uh, power supplies. These the, the power banks, and uh, most of the ones I saw were were forty dollars and up. I found this one for uh, ten bucks. I didn't know how it was gonna work, so but ten bucks is ten bucks. It's, it's not that much. So if it ends up working out, it's a score. So I got this, tried it out, uh, charged it up. It doesn't. T it, it it only takes uh, less than an hour to properly charge up. That's, pro that's properly charged with the, with the blue light on. It's, it's properly charged. Um, and this adds. This has three hours on it uh, by itself. This adds a minimum of six hours. So this gives me a total of. This gives me a total of uh, a minimum total of nine hours of battery life on the uh, Cyborg, uh, Cyborg Alpha Muse. So I now have more freedom to roam around. I have more functionality with it. And now with the, with the extra battery life, it just cost me 10 bucks for this thing here. Uh, yeah, really well, really well worth it. It, it, it really did uh, make the difference in terms of what I can and can't do uh, with Cyborg Alpha Muse. So now I can sort of uh, sorry, sorry about that. I can really start offloading some of the work that I had up here, start spreading it out further across in, uh, Cyborg Alpha Mew. And that means uh, that as this sort of happens, I'll have more options to do different things. Anyways, that's it, that's it for today. Uh, it's 11.35, and uh, whatever happens, whether I go to sleep or not, um, it will be tomorrow in a couple hours, but you know, in a couple, you know, in a half, in less than a half hour, it's going to be uh, June second. So <laughs> this will end this particular uh, series of videos, uh, and I will see you. I don't know, maybe in a couple hours. We'll see what happens if I am able to sleep or not. All right, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.